you can have correct superheat and correct subcooling and not have near the capacity that you need because you have low airflow and you charge the system to the airflow instead of charging the system to its rated capacity. If you were to get the airflow correct, you'd find out your superheat would start to go way up because now it's got more airflow. As an industry, we've been fixated on the wrong things. A, a basic technician is fixated on his gauges. What are the pressures? The first thing you wanna do is gauge up. The gauges are your friends, who the pressures are. If you don't know what the pressures are supposed to be, what difference does it make what they are? And then I can get the superheat and the subcooling correct. Okay, that's really nifty. What drives the heat transfer? What's coil temperature? So again, we're back to pressures. If you don't have the right pressures, but you have the right superheat and subcooling, you don't have the right heat transfer rate. And almost nobody in this industry has tools to measure airflow. And that's another huge problem is unless until we get the airflow, you really can't get the charge right.